Good morning, my friends. Welcome to day 45 on Never Shore, my hard mode island. Let's see if we have anything exciting going on today. What do you got, Isabel? Happy Friday. Oh, end of the week? Beginning of the weekend? I don't know when you decide your weekend starts, but any minute now. Um, good idea. Oh, this means I've got one of the Gullivers, one of the seagulls on my island. I love that they changed this, um, so that she tells us who's on our island, unless she has something else to say. But I do miss her little comments. Like, she used to say, I talked to my mom and dad on the phone, and they're doing well, and, um, I, I just thought it was so cute, especially during the beginning of the pandemic when she's checking on her parents and oh, there was a time when that was the only way we could check on everybody is with our phones. So I do kind of miss that. I know I'm very silly. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will do that. Thank you, sweetie. Did you see my cute outfit? Oh, I love it. Hello, Tommy. Yeah. So I had fruit to sell, but my um, crops were not available to sell because they didn't get watered enough. They were only in groups of two. So I collected them and we used them for crafting or for... Oh, thank you. Vladimir sent me a gift. Um... Anyway, I'll use them for crafting or to eat to dig up a tree or something. Also, if you have eggs left over and didn't know it, you can eat those. Like fruit and turnips. You can eat turnips too to get that little power up that helps you dig up a tree or crash a rock, crunch a rock. Okay, those are for my fish market. Still really haven't put a ton of time into it. Need to do more stuff, but I definitely think I'll be needing some of those. I probably bought extra. A skeleton. Vladimir, thanks. Let's put that right here. Because I need a skeleton right there. There we go. It's just perfect. Thanks, Vladimir. Just what I wanted. I'm going to push it back one more. I don't like my stuff to be too lined up. Plus then he's like scary hiding behind a tree. But I also like my stuff to be... Uh, accessible so I saw you bud I'm not gonna talk to you just yet oh I did want to say so this adorable shirt that you all love right everybody loves one everybody wants it um, I did upload it on the kiosk so if you go to my creator code which is in the um, hi bud which is in the description of all my videos. I know I should talk to you. You're standing right there. Just pretend like I'm talking to other people and just walk away. It's like I'm doing an interview on the news and he's that guy who stands in the back and is, you know, trying to get the attention of the camera. Thanks, bud. Um, anyway, so this shirt, the number 87, is, like I said, my son's uh, varsity number from football when he played football in high school. And... I want to give him a little shout out. Hey, Nick Knock. Um, he gave me a cute little comment on m one of my videos, <laughs> which he put an extra special little touch that I don't know if everybody notices, but um, when I watch his videos, because he is a content creator for WOW, um, I usually put like a little emoticon heart just to let him know I watched it because I don't really have anything to say. Um, and he gave me a little emoticon heart and that was super sweet. But I don't know if there's any crossover between Animal Crossing and World of Warcraft. If you happen to watch World of Warcraft or you know somebody who watches World of Warcraft, you should check out his channel. His name is Nick Knock and I will leave a link in the description below. He actually played professionally for a little while. Um, but like did race to world first and everything and then I don't know if he just decided that it wasn't gonna pay the bills or what but he's not pro playing professionally right now but he is he's recently started making content again 
So anyway, if you feel like it, go over and check him out and subscribe. Subscribing is always good. We know. We hear about it here a lot. Okay, that was a long time. Sorry. But he's awesome, and you should all go watch his stuff and love him, because he's so sweet. Um, should we go find... Let's go find the seagull. Okay, that's probably not a good place to sit by the trash can. What if, what if it's all smelly? Sometimes trash cans are smelly. Okay. Actually, let's talk to you. Yeah, I know we haven't chatted in forever. I do. I run around and do stuff and don't talk. Here's the thing. Generally, I started talking to them so I could get their photos, and I can only get work on one photo at a time, but I can actually work on... Look at her cute little footprints! <laughs> um, I can actually kind of work on more than one photo at a time, because if I'm talking to them, that helps. Um, even though I can't gift them, and she is one that I don't have a photo from, because I've never had her before. Speaking of photos, okay, I know I'm doing a lot of standing around talking. Let's sit. I know that's not any better, but... Um, so I took my stats. I looked them all up, because I was talking about getting photos. And um, so I checked. I have had over the... This is my 20th island, because I am a serial restarter. Out of those 20 islands, I have had 263 different villagers. At first, I wanted to get one of each kind, and then I got one that started with each letter of the alphabet, except X, because there isn't one of those. And then I started um, completing the species. Like, I've got all the deer. I've had all the deer. I've had um, all the cows and bulls and octopi. I think that's all that I've had. Anyway, so I did those things. But of those 263 different villagers, I have received 257 unique photos. So the only villagers that I don't have photos for are the new ones I have on this island that I haven't had before. I've also received 28 duplicate photos. So I do have a lot of experience with photos. I know, Astrid, I'm talking. Thanks for showing us your baby. Um, on those 20 islands, I have two switches, and now I'm using my sun switch. So I added up all the hours. And I have, since April 20th of 2020, because that was the day we started, I have put in <laughs> 3,605 hours in Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh, I divided it by eight to find out how many work days? That's 450 full eight hour work days on Animal Crossing in three years. I know. I know. It's crazy. You wish you had that kind of time. There was a long time there when I couldn't because oh, I was working a ton and was just so exhausted that I, I didn't have the energy when I got home. Um, I'm not working right now because of health things. But when I am working, I work at a special needs preschool, and it's amazing and wonderful. <sighs> what the heck is that? Ramen, obviously. Let's see what it looks like. Um, oh, it's pretty. I wouldn't eat it because it has egg, but it's pretty. Um, anyway, amazing and wonderful, but absolutely exhausting. So, oh no. <gasps> oh no, 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 Vladimir, I don't have your photo. No, I don't want to talk to you. This is the hardest part about hard mode. Just a minute, I'll talk to you in a second. Oh, I gotta process that. Okay, I don't know what I was saying about preschool, but it was wonderful and I miss it, but I have a little bit more time to do this. If I were still working, I wouldn't have been able to dedicate myself to this channel like I am right now. So that's a huge advantage and it gives me something to do. Okay, Vladimir. Let's see, let's see. Oh, take a chance. Oh no! Oh no, I hate it when they leave before I get their photo. You're so cute. Oh, okay. Sure, I got lots of friends around these parts, but I wonder what's out there for me on other islands. I know you don't have that voice. 
I should be talking about, doesn't the idea of a brand new place set your heart to race in? No, I just sound ridiculous. Oh my gosh, look at your face. No, well, brand new place? Yeah, actually, because I want to restart. Does that count? I'm not going to restart this island, but I'm almost ready to restart the other one. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Um, uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> I don't want you to go. Uh, it's still a bit early for goodbyes, but I want to let you know you've been a big help to me, kiddo. I reckon it was fun living here. Now that we're pals and all that, here's hoping we meet up again. <sighs> Watch for me out yonder, okay? I will. I tried to say goodbye. Oops. <laughs> oh. Oh, goodness. Darn it, Vladimir. So let's see, he'll be in boxes tomorrow, which is Saturday, and then he'll be gone on Sunday. Oh, let's see. Yeah, darn it. Um, well, I don't, I don't generally do, are you sitting right on, oh, I thought she was sitting right on the bridge. I don't think I've ever seen him sit on the bridge. Um, anyway. I don't usually do villager hunts. My intention was to let them autofill, seriously. But sometimes it takes a long time, so I might just do a uh, one ticket hunt. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a real hunt. I haven't done a real hunt at all on this island. That actually kind of sounds like fun. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Um, peach smoothie. Nice. Oh, man. <gasps> I want a peach smoothie. Um, I have peaches. I have some juice. I might make a peach smoothie. That sounds great. Although it's 29 degrees outside, so uh, smoothie might be a little cold for that. Okay, he's not there. I'm gonna go over this way. Ooh, I'm a little dizzy today. So as this stuff all passes, it's kind of making me a little dizzy. Hope it's not making you dizzy. If it's making you dizzy, just close your eyes and I'll tell you when we get to the other beach. And we're here. <laughs> wow, that made me dizzy. I don't know why. That was crazy. I do like that boat on the rock. I don't know if I said that. I like it. I don't know exactly how I'm going to decorate around it yet. I'm getting some thoughts. Getting some good thoughts on what to do over here to, you know, add to my fish market. Yeah, I'm kind of liking it. Maybe I'll drop these things here. Wow. Okay. Oops. And then they'll be here when I'm ready for them. I definitely won't need all of them. But no sense throwing them in my storage if I'm just going to be getting them out again. Look, I did customize them. I mean, I did make them all black. Yeah, I guess I was customizing them. So they look better. I like them better a lot. Um, seriously. Oh, there he is. Oh, Gulliver. That means he's going to be a long one. Okay, here we go. There we go. Got it done. So all these trees are the ones, they're the hardwood trees that I got on... Oh, I didn't, t I didn't get to talk about them because my um, bunny day stuff got messed up. So I realized I didn't have any leaf eggs. 
and when bunny day was coming around the day before so I couldn't because I don't have any hardwood trees so I didn't have any leaf eggs and I didn't have time to grow hardwood trees because bunny day was the next day so I went to a mystery island and I got hardwood trees on the island which is good because I was only allowed to go to one island so I got all these hardwood trees and then the day of Easter I had so many eggs the bunny day um, I had so many eggs I got very very lucky um, but I haven't done anything with them yet so they are there and I I'm I might just turn this into like a little forest walkway I don't know I, I kind of like them especially since it's fall on my island look how the things are all starting to change color anyway that was all just let's go check out our stores I'm a little wandry today what do you have Ooh, like that table that's kind of cool I don't know if I'll use it for anything but I do like it 14,000 I will take it I'll buy it so my daughter and I were discussing what vintage meant so we looked it up technically um, vintage is anything at least 40 years old but not a hundred years old because at a hundred it becomes antique and if it's only 20 to 40 years old then it's retro so there you go now you know so that that looked very 60s so or late 50s so that would make it vintage that's right I have not gotten one of these yet which is crazy because I usually have had a couple by now but I'll take that and now I'm out of money well pretty close to out of money um, I think I want that drink yes please um, okay 8,000 I'm sure I still have enough money to go to the sisters let's go see them bye boys and then we'll get some money out of the bank. Oh, also, so I was, I did put in some decorating time over by my museum and I wanted full grown trees. So I got some cedar starts and dug these up and planted a new one there because I like where it was and then took the trees to decorate. That's why I have a bunch of little ones growing because I took them and replaced them. Okay, let's see. Um, slippers. That looks like a little bunny nose. I mean, a little doggy nose. Okay, um. Not seeing anything. Wow. Just a whole lot of nothing. Today might be a socks day. Um, oh. I don't think I have any sporty sandals yet. Kind of like those. My hiking partner has some that look like that. that. She wears. And I'm like, I don't know. If a snake bites me, that's not going to give me much protection. I don't like snakes. That's the only real hiking fear I have. There are tarantulas in our area. They don't bother me. They're just slow and they just leave you alone. But snakes ran into a Diamondback Rattler once on our hike. You know, right now, a little nervous about mountain lions because with all the food being down here because of so much snow. Um, I didn't even look at the price. Apparently I have enough. And I'm wandering again. Okay, let's move on. Sorry ladies, I'm a little dorky. My goodness. I'm having a very, very dizzy day today, so I'm definitely a little scatterwampus in my brain. Oh, crash. Okay. Oh, also, so Krispy Kraft, I still didn't look at my plus goals. I'll look at those when I'm done here. Krispy Krafts had a suggestion. I said yesterday when I have um, a, a plus goal that I have to spend 500 bells, I mean 500 nook miles, I usually get a bell ticket unless I need a, um, a what do you call it? Nook miles ticket. 
<sighs> but she said that she goes on a cap and tour, and that's such a good idea. Ugh, I love that idea. Maybe we'll do a cap and tour today. <gasps> that's a really good idea. I might just be scatterbrained enough for that. We'll see. Because I haven't done that on here in a long time. I love that slide. I have one, but I do love that slide. Steamroller. I wish I had a reason to need a steamroller. Oh, I've got one of those on my uh, farm I grew up on island that I made it be something other than that. I think I used it as a harvester because there isn't a harvester, but if you line it up just right, it kind of looks like a harvester. Um, yeah, nothing there. Still nothing here. Yep. Okay. So I got my money and I did that. Let's see. What are our goals? No Nook Miles today. Water my produce. I have to do that. Talk to somebody else. Catch some bugs. Water my flowers and die for sea creatures. This would have been really easy if it had been Gulliver instead of Gulliver. Okay, let's check the recycle bin real quick. Um, yeah, I'm going to have another one of those tomorrow. I definitely am just going to leave those in there. That That's a big ticket item to have in here. A harp. Pretty sure that's really expensive. A boot. Okay. So, um, also, after Vladimir leaves, there will probably be a new one in here. Because when they move out, usually there's something they leave behind in there. So, we should go visit him and look at his house. He's not... I don't think he's home because he was running around. Let's go check just to make sure. And uh, we can give Olaf his present if we can find him. But if we can get in Vladimir's house, we can look and try and guess what it'll be. It looks like we can't. Look! So I started working over here. It, it needs a lot more work. I wasn't going to use this sign. I'm actually waiting for a different sign, but I don't know. Right? It's very informal. This is just the beginning. But I made that sign. That's pretty good, huh? I'm pretty happy with it. Um, anyway, not sure what I'm going to do. Some kind of a bug setup. And then um, bugs all over here. And maybe like a little hall of horrors of bugs along the side here because the blathers would find them terrifying. Um, but I wanted to have, I said before, I wanted to have a reason, a logical reason to have to collect all my bugs. And that's what this is for. So it doesn't look ridiculous and out of place to kind of use them as the decorating while they're here. Same with the fish. That's why I made a fish market. So I have a reason to just kind of leave them all there. Oh, he's home. <gasps> Olaf, do you want to give me your picture? Oh, don't sit down. Don't sit down. Oh, that was close. If he sits down, then you can't give him his picture. But if he sits down, you can leave and come back, and he'll be standing up again. Sometimes I've had to do it two or three times, though. Uh, this is for you. Yes. Not the ramen, although you'd probably like it. Apparently it's 11 o'clock. I know, a dinosaur track. That one's pretty cool. You could set that up outside your house. I know, what do you got? Oh, you're holding out on me, buddy. Ooh, you're taking a long time. Okay, oh, he was my third villager to talk to, so let's clear that. There we go. Let's just cook one thing, right? Okay, let's... I think I'm going to empty my pockets and um, make sure I have the tools I need and then we'll take a cap and tour. That's a good idea. Let's take a cap and tour. Um, when I go on a mystery, when I go to a mystery island, I like to empty my pockets and take an extra um, axe and maybe an extra shovel because I harvest the whole island. But on a on a cap and tour, I generally don't need, I don't want that in there. I don't generally don't need that much floor space. I, floor space. I generally don't need that much pocket space. So um, I'm not gonna 
worry that much. And they're usually, I don't need, um, probably won't need an axe. Although, um, I mean, I've got my stone axe, but for me, clearing an island is just, it's satisfying and it's easier to tell when it's cleared and when you've gotten everything, so. Okay, I'm done for now. And let's go throw that flooring away that Olaf so generously gave us. I want to throw this away. Yes, please. And I'm just gonna drop that fish bait here because I don't want to carry it with me. And let's go on a tour. Oops, crash. Let's go on a tour. And I'll do all my other visit things later. Hey there, Captain. I am ready for a tour. Yep. Give me those miles. Take those miles, I mean. Give me that tour. <laughs> okay, I'm good to go. Let's go. The frog croaks out. Songs that don't make any sense. He's an old frog. So he can't hit any high notes. Ain't a frog that I be. Fortune smiles upon me, but I'll sing the frog song. And if you can, you should sing along. Have you ever tried to sing along with him? It's really hard and it's out of my range. When air I'm sad, that's when me wife will say, the sun will rise and warm you today. Funny it would say that just as it starts to rain. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. So if you come at nighttime, sometimes you can get like star islands. Yeah, we're here in the rain. Thank you. Okay, so it's since it's raining, I wonder if we could get a coelacanth. I haven't caught a coelacanth yet. You're more likely to get the rare ones on an island, I think. Should we try? Let's see what that is. It's probably a stupid sea bass. Sorry, sea bass are wonderful, and they serve their purpose. I'm sorry, sea bass. Yeah... Just a sea bass. Okay, what'd we get? Pierce. Firewood. Do I not have that yet? Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay, I'm not keeping that sea bass because it's not worth it. They're so easy to catch and I don't care. Okay, um go over here. I'm just going to do a quick walk around, see if we have another big fish. Because, you know, there's a chance. And then I'll spend my time clearing the island. Oops. Let's not crash there. Okay, let's try again. Definitely not big enough. Yep, another sea bass. No, thank you. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Little guy, medium, mm, kind of biggish guy, but not big enough, and a little guy. Okay, so this is <laughs> that is a um, a gyroid fragment. There's no question. I mean, you only get those here, but. You can't, there, you can't doubt it because it's smoking. Because when you plant a gyroid fragment and you water it, it smokes to let you know it's watered. I do not take gyroid fragments. I would just throw it away anyway because I can't sell them. And I'm not going to plant them on my island because I don't want them to grow on my island. So I'm going to clear this island and then I will get back to you.
I guess it's a good thing I had to dig to get that gyroid out of my way. If you have a fossil or a gyroid or anything around those rocks, then nothing will land there and you will lose one. So I dug it up and turns out I hadn't gotten those miles. Forgot there was a mile thing for that. I'm coming. Cap and be like a barber you tells your woes to. Good listener like that everyone goes to. I may not cut your hair, but I'll hear ye out. Soon as I be done singing, ye we see trout. <laughs> you think it's all a dream? Maybe it is all a dream. When I'm away from me, sweet little baby girl, <laughs> I see her sweet face. She is a real pearl. I think her name is Pearl, actually. And there's a little picture inside his boat that she drew of the two of them, I think. If I remember correctly, right there next to him. Well, thank you, Cap'n. So we got some um, some good bells because we got a little money rock. You don't always get a money rock, and you don't always have four rocks. Those islands have all kinds of weird things. Let's go see Katrina. <laughs> Okay, if you remember, I changed my passport photo so we could see, see all of the haircuts are done, so we could see if the picture, oh no, he's got that creepy acorn face. <laughs> Does it, I think his name might change when he's like the cornimer. Oh, yeah, the acorn legend is back. It is I, cornimer. And the season of me has come again. <laughs> You're so creepy looking. <laughs> you with the space in your pockets. What makes you think you can walk around like that all willy nilly? Acorns are wonderful, aren't they? Here, don't say old Cornimer never gave you nothing. <laughs> Thank you. So how can old Cornimer, Cornimer be of service today? Never mind. If you say so, Sprout. <laughs> Horf. Okay, so first off, that's pretty good. Eight acorns? I didn't get any on that island, right? No, just, wow, that's a lot. Thanks, Cornimer. Um, since I don't didn't have hardwood trees, I don't have very many acorns. Okay, so um, we're going to see if my updated picture appears in that crystal ball. See if I still have those straight across bangs or if it's my current hairdo. Yes, Katrina, tell me my fortune. I feel like I have to add that mystical part at the end because when I talked to CJ like that, Bill said I was flirting. Because I talked softly and sweetly. I don't know. I'm not flirting with you, Katrina. I'm just being mystical with you. picture. <laughs> I'm not going to go past yet. So Tortimer's in my picture. He's like photobombing me in my pro in my uh, passport photo. And look, he's in there. So it's your passport photo in case you were wondering, or in case you want to make it look crazy, whatever. Just take a crazy picture and put it as your passport photo and it'll show up in there. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I'm glad he's in it. <laughs> Oh, oh, I see something, yes. In the dead of night, the president of Nook, Inc. counts them one by one. Not sheep, but bells. From this vision, I deduce that your luck with money will improve. Good, because I haven't done any of my money things on my island yet. 
Well, something good might happen today, or it might not. Now then, may my crystal guide you. Thank you, Katrina. Oh, that was funny. But Cornimer's very creepy. Hello there, Wilbur. Can I go home? Yep. Yes, please. Okay, let's go do our stretching and then we're going to be done. I have a very important date tonight. I'm going to spend several hours with my grandbaby so that his mom and his dad can go out for their anniversary. Happy anniversary, kids! Oh, I'm so excited. I love spending time with him. So I got to get all my stuff done so I can do that. Let's stretch. Okay, so happy weekend. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Oh, I can hear Bubblegum KK playing. Um, yeah, that's all. That's all we got, I guess. Go check out Nick Knock's channel. Subscribe if you're feeling like it. Um, leave a comment. Tell him you came from here. That'd be fun. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you all so much for all the support and comments and just wonderfulness that is our community. And I will talk to you later. Bye.